gonna yell at us? Uh, the guy at the, because we just got an oil change, we asked, and they said it would probably freak out, but it would be fine if we had it on neutral, which is what we have. Okay. This will make people at breakfast stream super happy. Yeah. I don't know the last time I went through a car wash. Maybe I, before I could drive? I was a boy. I was I was absolutely horrified of the car wash as a child. And I would just scream bloody murder whenever we would go through it. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome to uh, whatever day it is. Friday. Friday. It's Friday. LEDs to make it pretty. I feel like I'm driving through a gaming computer. <laughs> I don't like that I can see it now. What do you mean? That it's so close. Like when I had all the foam, it was harder to see. Yeah. 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 Ugh. So if you circle around to the thing it'll we can use the vacuums okay and maybe we will do that that was fun was it i guess <laughs> sure the windshield's a lot cleaner i mean it is that was kind of the hope of that right so yeah all right let me go get a thing where we can suck so how's the car look uh pretty good yeah it didn't get all the bugs no but I suppose they've sat on there for a little bit and would require some scrubbing. Yeah. But it looks better. The car really was not that dirty. No, it wasn't. Which we've, we tried ad nauseum to explain on breakfast stream. I wish I would have gotten a shot of the car before. Yeah. So people would have been like, oh, wow, no, it looked fine. I mean, it stays in this garage. We don't park outside. We barely drive it and <laughs> only hit couple thousand miles. Yeah, it, it hit 14,000 today. So. Yeah. So we had to get, it was time for, I don't know what they call it, the 30 month, 30 point inspection or some, um, some, some, they only, what they do, an oil change and a tire rotation or something. And they checked everything. And they checked everything. He said everything was really good. That's so good. You haven't driven it much. We're like. Yeah, well, we're, <laughs> it's not wrong. Um, but the other day on a uh, breakfast stream, we were talking about uh, car washes and the fact that um, I had I had never gotten this car washed. And there were people that like this was blowing their mind and they're like, how? How can you not get the car washed? And I'm like, how? it doesn't need it. Like only because we hit all those bugs and stuff was on the windshield that I was like, all right, you know, we could we could get a car wash. And I know that people have arguments about keeping your car clean helps the, the lifespan of it. And, like, that's fine, but the idea that the car is dirty was, like, ridiculous to me. I'm like, the car is not dirty. We don't, we don't drive the car very much. We don't live somewhere with salty. And we don't, yeah, we don't live some. yeah. Like, if you live in, in a snowy area, um, that can be a whole thing. But we we don't we don't go down dirt roads like the car is, is is fine, anyway. But we did we got a car wash. That's actually the first car wash I've ever gotten done. I lived uh, with that Escape for a long time. How many years? Ten. Ten or more years, and like um, I I never took the car for a car wash. Um, I know my dad washed the car because he just likes washing cars it's a it's a dad thing um and occasionally he would wash the car like himself i don't think he ever took it anywhere but he would you know occasionally he wanted to like clean out the car wipe the car down or whatever um but that wasn't very often 
So, yeah, it's... In my car? Yeah. Long-time vlog viewers will remember my silver Kia, mm -hmm. like, from around the time we got married. Um, and I never took that through a car wash either. I only ever hand-washed it. And I don't think I hand-washed it after high school because I didn't have time and I was at college. Yeah. I'm not advising that people, like, don't wash their car or anything. Like, clearly do whatever is the best for keeping your car in good shape. I think that's important. That being said, if you did not know that there is, I guess, a way to keep the car just clean, like it, the car stays clean. We don't park under anything. We're in a garage. There's like never any bird poop or anything on it. Like it always is just pretty clean. So yeah, I, again, I wish I would have filmed the stupid car before because I would have loved to have been like, see, it's fine. But now at least all of the bug guts are off of the windshield from our trip back from Birmingham. And that is good. Windshield looks good. Mm -hmm. Shrimpos into the tacos. We are going to be using uh, uh, that mango salsa. We also got some um, cabbage and some queso. Yeah, that's our dinner tonight. Queso so, Blanca. Queso Blanca. So we did, uh, we did our Kirby stream. Um, there's still Kirby left. The levels are are long, and there's still stuff to do. And the game is, it's it's interesting. The game is like, if you're just doing the main game, like if you're not trying to complete anything, then I guess you could get through it pretty quickly. But the nature of Kirby with this specific game is you you kind of want to because like you miss out on upgrading abilities, which you're gonna want to play around with. So it's not this because there's some games that like if you're trying to get a hundred percent, it's like oh you gotta spend all your time searching every corner of the map to do, and that's not the way Kirby feels. It's just like oh you know I want to do these extra little levels because you know they help me unlock new stuff. And if you do that, the game is actually pretty long. I've been uh, I've been kind of impressed, but that was fun. Um, now we're we're doing dinner just because we did. Uh, we did lunch pretty late, so we're doing a dinner after. But, you know, fortunately, with shrimp, your dinner's ready in minutes. Because you just got to... No sooner have you put the shrimp into the pan than they're basically done. So I'm glad we get to eat right after stream. These look really amazing, to be honest. Um, they came out really beautifully. This is really good. Really messy? It is extremely messy. But this is really good. All right. That's going to be it for today. Yeah, in an effort to make sure I don't have to deal with the camera anymore, I'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Mango salsa, good on tilapia, good in fish tacos. Shrimp tacos. What did I say? Fish tacos? Yeah. It would also be good in fish tacos. <laughs> yeah. And good in shrimp tacos. You gotta find some other uses for this. It'd be interesting. All right, we're done. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs>